operated by the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, the Sutherland Reservoir State Recreation Area is located about 20 miles west of North Platte and is comprised of a 3,000 acre lake with about 37 acres of land accessible to the general public. Due to its size, Sutherland Reservoir is an excellent place for a weekend trip or for a longer vacation, with all types of boats permitted. And it can be accessed three different ways, one of which is via the swimming beach located on the southwestern side, a favorite for families with children and water sports enthusiasts. Sutherland Reservoir State Recreation Area also has its own campground with 50 non-electrical camping pads and 30 non-pad sites as well as plenty of picnic tables and grills for scenic open-air meals which make it ideal for get-togethers with family and friends. You're in a very rural setting, very tranquil, very scenic, and it gives you the opportunity to unwind and kind of get away from it all. On the north side of Sutherland Reservoir, Golfers and campers alike will be delighted by the Oregon Trail Golf Course and Campground that sits only about one mile south of Interstate 80. Here, visitors will not only find a private camping area that has electrical hookups for RV owners, but also a nine-hole regulation-sized golf course that has spectacular views of the reservoir. Now, while many things come to mind when you think of outdoor recreation in Nebraska, scuba diving is definitely not high on that list, if, well, on the list at all. But surprisingly, there are quite a few places where this can be done, one of them being the crystal clear waters of the Interstate Lake, located only a few miles west of North Platte. There's a catfish about yay long, swimming around or up along the bottom, and there's a couple of bass swimming away from us about that long to that long, just swimming around. Once they turned and saw us, we uh, just swam right past them. Although not quite like the Caribbean, its visibility offers good conditions for snorkeling, as well as for open water scuba diving training or certification, especially during those hot summer days when temperatures can exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're interested in a more traditional Nebraskan outdoor recreational activity, perhaps a horseback riding trip through Lincoln County's many hills and canyons may be just the right adventure for you. Typically when you think of Nebraska, you think of the very flat areas and Wapiti and this area is not that at all. In fact, it's steep canyons with rolling hills all over, with trees uh, that vary from your hardwoods to your cedar trees, with grasses all over. So you're gonna really feel like you're out in the middle of a beautiful area that is untouched by many people. And it's very true, you are out there enjoying nature.
If instead of hills and canyons, you prefer to horseback ride on the banks of the Platte River, that too is available at Dusty Trail Stables and Outfitting, which services an area located adjacent to the world-famous Buffalo Bill Scouts Ranch. Here you'll be guided by some amazing horseback riding professionals who can literally put on quite a show. Buffalo Bill Ranch is an amazing area. When you head out there, it is something that is so unique to our area and who he was. Buffalo Bill's first experience of the West was when he was stationed at Fort McPherson as a scout for the United States Army. He absolutely fell in love with this area of western Nebraska and he brought his wife and family out here. He developed a 4,000 acre ranch to call home, which he called Scout's Rest Ranch and it was also where he developed the Wild West Show. So when he was doing the Wild West Show, everything was very big and very elaborate. And that's exactly what that property is. The house is another thing that is absolutely phenomenal to be able to see because when you walk into it, you get a sense of true history. It's really wonderful to be able to walk upstairs and be able to see the different rooms and see how it all connects and just imagine everything that was going into that home at that point in time when he was there. I love to hear the stories that whenever he would come home he would put a flag up at the top of the at the top of the house and people would come out and he would just have a giant party. His house was meant to be a place of gathering for people. He wanted to have people there.